ensure we're live while we also talk business. <laughs> we're always professional. Sell all the dividends and. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's even a thing. I just know that's like a money thing. A thing. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I, see oh, a I have commercial an, on my. Yeah, computer. I have an ad there, but I. I oh, I got an ad on my iPad. Okay. I also have ad. I'm just gonna hit skip. Okay, so can I go? Yes. Emily's the boss. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey friends, happy Wednesday Friends Day. Emily's here with me today doing all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. Hello. Did you like that? Yeah, I like that. It felt <laughs> yeah, it felt a little smoother. We're going to paint, uh, I, we always critique my opening because they're usually pretty bad. We're going to paint this cute dove ornament today. It's on a four inch by four inch canvas panel. And then I have a video, I'm pretty sure I linked in this video description of how to wire it. We yeah. might do like a... Because you can, you can tell the gold. I, yeah. use, I use gold paint. Ooh. You don't have to. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the traceable is on my website. It's part of a set of four. It's this one right here. AnnieTro.com. We're going to grab my... I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to fly over my head to my art table. And then we always... I always make a thing of it. There we go. I think I did it. That, that was time. smooth. Oh, that today, was crisp. You know, that's almost scary. Today's smooth. <laughs> Trying to decide where to put the the power things mm -hmm. for the microphone. I saw people in the chat, and I actually typed out a hello. That was fun. <laughs> I mean, for me, you know, you came home when the street lights were on. You knew everybody's phone number. Oh, you yeah. little shrinky dink. Yeah, wherever. Thanks. I'm just mm -hmm. going to scoot these over because one time I put the stool on the microphone cords. How's everybody doing today? I'm excited. It's Wednesday. Let's see. I didn't put an apron on, so I'm going to put a towel on my lap. <laughs> we really do need other cameras because it would be kind of funny to see how we do this. It's not, not real smooth. Would it be funny to see me... Um, Freckles stole my chair. Oh, so Freckles stole Emily's now chair. Now I'm rolling the smaller desk chair that you have by your easel and swapping chairs because she's I, cranky freckles is cranky today she's cranky today we don't know why well i was brushing her i think that might have made her cranky which is funny usually cats she was liking it she was purring she got cranky you guys need a pet update i'm, I'm just sure you're, you came to the live <laughs> just for that <laughs> oh look at everybody i took a quick peek at the chat as I'm undoing things here. So I scribbled on the back of my traceable with some chalk pastel and transferred it onto my four inch by four inch canvas panel. This one's from US Art Supply. Sometimes I get them at Michael's. I think I said last week that I think a Hobby Lobby might have them. I drill a hole in them and then I paint the, oh, I should show you my, if I can find it, you know, here it is. Um, I drill a hole in them and I push a little white paint down in them and then I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the on the video but I just shove a little white paint down there and then I twirl it and I do it both directions there you can kind of see the twirl but my, my handy dandy very crusted old paintbrush <laughs> it's turned to a very unique shape isn't that interesting yeah, yeah this this part's getting bigger and bigger but it's almost like Probably better because if you flip it back over, that circle's getting pretty crisp. Yeah, it is. It's actually getting better after a couple years of doing this. <laughs> I'm just taking a kneaded eraser and I'm going to lighten this up. Um, I've got titanium white out. Cad yellow, medium hue. And then what I did is I mixed a little white in there to make it more opaque because this... this uh, cad yellow semi-transparent. So this is cad yellow with a little bit of titanium white in it. And this is the gold, because I've already got one going. We're going to, as Emily calls it, Rachel Ray it, because that background won't dry by the time we get all the coats on it. Oh, here. Where's the gold? So it's an iridescent bright gold, and I believe, I don't know if it says, I, oh, it says semi-transparent. To me, this is super transparent. You guys will have to let me know what you think. You don't have to use the gold. You can just paint it a color or paint it kind of, um, you know, brush strokey with a little pattern on it or something. Since the dove's, the dove's white, right? 
Yeah, so I painted, oh, thank you for asking that. I painted this canvas panel with two coats of white before I put the trace along mm. on it. Mm -hmm. I should have said that first. Um, but it would look pretty with like, you could change, you could make a bunch of different doves and just have a bunch of different background colors. Oh, totally. Be cute. Totally. I, I really, colors. yes, totally. I kind of have a love-hate relationship because the iridescent gold, I like the shine. I have gloss varnish on it too, but I don't know if you can see it, but I cannot get even coverage for the life of me, no matter how many coats I put on. And I'll show you how I make it a little less difficult. Um, trial and error has taught me. And if somebody knows even a better method, I'd love to hear it um, in the chat, in the comments, with the replay people. But I like to lighten this up because it's just easier to cover it. It's just like silly putty, just kind of stamping it with my kneaded eraser. I think this one's probably one of the easiest things I have on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Other than it's going to take, it takes four, at least four coats with the paint I have to get the gold. <laughs> that's, hey, that's the tip. If you guys want to get going, go to dinner, whatever, you, wherever you are in the world need to go do something, that's the biggest tip is I do two coats of yellow paint and then two coats of gold paint. <laughs> I'm also going to use some magenta. Quinacridone magenta, we'll put that out a little later. And then I've got my hookers green here and Posca pens. But you could, of course, use any colors you want. I'm going to do snow and the dot of the eye with Posca pens. They are seven millimeter. Okay, I think that sets the table in. Okay, well, so far in the chat with us tonight, we have Leanne, Gravy, Cindy, Suzanne, Susie, Bonita, and Sharon just popped in. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm going to use a little eighth inch flat brush so I can get into this smaller areas. And then just a reminder, this is cad yellow with some white to make it more opaque. Um, Leanne asked, um, hey, Annie, would you consider painting a poinsettia like your peony? Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty. I might, I might be. I'm, the only reason I'm hesitating is I was scheduled out a month. I suppose we could paint one in January. Mm -hmm. I will, um, Emily, write down point, uh, poinsettia, poinsettia. I don't know how to say poinsettia, it. Poinsettia, poinsettia. Poinsettia. And then I'll see if I can find a reference photo because I'm a, I like reference photos. Um, I feel like, I, do I sound hoarse? A little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It, would the, this be a good segue into telling the Lowe's story from when I was like seven? When sure. You were, <laughs> you were in Lowe's. Sure. It's G. It's G rated. It's it's, an, it's an, an anatomical part of somebody's body, <laughs> or some people certain some people's bodies. But um, were you seven? I wasn't. Um, you yeah, were because I was five for the other incident. Oh yeah, I, yeah. With the ear test thing, and I said that at the dinner table. Yeah. Um, but I remember we were walking into Lowe's and... Which is like a hardware store. Yeah, a hardware store in the United States. And, um, every year, um, a specific graphic design client would always get a poinsettia, um, and give it to you. Yeah, that was so nice. And so we walk into Lowe's and they have just like a million of them. I can literally see them like off to the off to the right. They just had a million, and I'm, I just point and I'm like, "Look, mom, look at all the placentas." <laughs> Always. Funny. And I distinctly remember making eye contact with this lady, and like she was just like, "Oh my god," and just started dying. <laughs> well, a little kid knowing the word placenta. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you knew that word, and then why you thought that was the flower. I don't know if I even Well, because it sounds the same. Yeah, I, I I don't even, probably, I don't know. That's funny. Heard the word in passing and then just mixed it up with poinsettia. Yeah, who knows? I can't remember. It's funny. <laughs> A Christmas placenta. That's A Christmas funny. placenta. Okay, I said paint poinsettia like peony. That'd be pretty. Yeah, kind of Giorgio O'Keefe style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great idea. Thank you. Oh, Bonita said, everyone, remember to hit that thumbs up button. <gasps> Thanks, Bonita. I don't. <laughs> I forget. Every... I forget. I thank people, but I forget. I don't. Yeah. Well, and what's nice is Emily does the graphic that says subscribe that you see on the videos that are 
aren't the lives mm -hmm. and the little bee buzzes in and so I don't have to say subscribe it just the graphic does which I like a lot better yeah you don't have to worry about you can just let the intro roll out however it does <laughs> yeah sometimes they're long sometimes they're short I could just see Emily when she edits the video going okay is it now is it now <laughs> Is she stopping now? I just did an intro today that's a little awkward. You'll get a, you'll get a giggle out of it when you see it. Well, you haven't done um, like one at the easel in a long time. No, so I've been doing little paintings. It's very easy because I just look for that cut in between and then I'll oh. double check. But like usually for a while when we were doing like a lot of the, I think, I feel like a year ago or like around um, Mavis in the middle time, you did a lot on the easel. And so that one was like, okay, is it now? Is it now? Is it now? Okay, no, it's not now. I could, you know, I could tell you. In the no. No, in our notes, I could tell you what it is. No. You don't need to. It's not, it is not a hard look. And it's not like you, it's relatively pretty quickly. So <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, it's like, well, it's not telling. It's not nearly as long as a live. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty quick. I'm just painting the edges. But yeah, the tip is we're going to need two coats of yellow and to put some white in your yellow for more, more opaque color, which I know I said already twice probably. So that was probably the third time. But that's probably the biggest tip with this one with the gold paint. And I really don't use very many iridescents. I assume they're all pretty transparent. That's how they look iridescent or metallic. Or... Um, Suzanne said I always do and so then I just happened to glance down and I hadn't liked it yet <laughs> so I liked it oh thanks <laughs> it's a high pressure thing if you if you don't like it you're I know. in trouble somebody knows somebody knows if I don't we would never know <laughs> it doesn't tell us so and so did or didn't like mm -hmm. the it does not tell us stuff like that Freaked me out when you two rearranged how the homepage looks on everybody's YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Yeah, they changed it up. And they rounded everything. Like, all the buttons are round now. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I don't know that I carry the one. No, that's, it's just a cosmetic change. Do you guys, in the chat or even in the replay, do you watch shorts? Oh, yeah. I don't watch shorts, but it doesn't mean they're not. I was just wondering. I do not watch shorts, but I, I mean, I, I spend hours on TikTok. TikTok. So, yeah. and I know that they're just, they're trying to call to that, like answer to the boom of TikTok. So. Oh yeah. Well, some people are doing shorts cause they get, you know, I want to say 10 times the views. I don't know how many mm -hmm. more views. Mm -hmm. Of course, like I've noticed, like when I watch a short, I watched a couple. And like, oh, it's already replaying. I didn't realize it was done. <laughs> so they could at least get two views, you know, from mm -hmm. just me. I wonder if that happens to other people. Mm, Gravy says, I do, because I hate commercials. I oh. wonder how long it'll be until they start putting them. Because, like, TikTok, there are commercials in, as you scroll. Um, Reels, I'm pretty sure they're not commercials as you scroll. I wonder... How long you... T but shorts are relatively new, so I feel like they'll hold off on that for a little bit. They're going to... If they haven't already, I've been listening to, like, the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to... Mo they're monetizing them. And then they're, t they're... Now they're tying them to your other videos. Mm. So... I don't know. I mean, we might do one or two or something. Or we did, I didn't want to do them because it really cluttered up the homepage. Yeah, now they changed the... Homepage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder if it helped people find me. That's the only thing. But that's all marketing. Mm -hmm. But if you guys like, so one person likes shorts is what we found mm -hmm. out. So far, Gravy likes the shorts. Oh, Suzanne, I do. Just the ones that look interesting. Oh, and Gravy says, oh, they sneak in the videos that are sponsored. Yeah, those are the ads. They just, um, they do the same thing on TikTok. They just like, you know, some company uses your favorite TikTok person, but, so it looks like a TikTok, but it's, I guess, it's probably not as annoying, uh, 
I see, sometimes I see repeats. It's probably not as annoying as like, I don't know how many times I've seen the latest Michael YouTube ad, Michael's YouTube ad. (laughs) Between the two of us. Yeah. And you log in as me, so you probably get bombarded with Michael's ads. Well, yeah, you were, yeah, because I, you were saying you got the, the ad for the shoes that I was trying to I was getting short boots ads. (laughs) Emily bought herself a pair of boots and I was getting ads ads. from, you know, hey, do you want some boots like these? Like, sure. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, for a while, I think we were both looking at eyeglasses. So we were bombarded with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they might come back because I was just Googling um, the Warby Parker hours because now there's one at Village Point. Oh. And Chase wants to go in person. Um, and they're so cheap. Yeah. And he doesn't have anything like, although I do know, I can't remember who I was talking to, but I was saying that you weren't ordering from Warby Parker because... Or somewhere like that, because where you got the frames, but you got the lenses done at your normal eye place, and she also has a like readers, and she's like, oh, they went, they were fine. I don't know who I was talking to. Well, my eye doctor had a hard time with. Yeah, that. <laughs> I did it to give him the money too, because mm-hmm. I thought, well, you know, mm-hmm. they have everything in their system, and but then the new the new gal was measuring my eye height way too high, so when I was driving, it was like I was trying to see my computer distance. Mm-hmm. Of course, I didn't drive in them. I can drive without my glasses. So it, was, it took a minute to convince them that I wasn't just a cranky person. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting another coat on. It would be better if I dried this with a hair dryer. I'm wondering if I could just put gold on it. Let it dry a little bit. But yeah, I feel like the... The more like tipsy and tricksy types of videos, like the wiring the hanger, we could probably trim down into a short. Do a little short of the cloud. A little short of the cloud, a little short of like the background video. Yeah, I just like don't... those kinds of ones would make easy shorts. Otherwise, well, we and could I do, like, also parts. don't. I'm sorry, I talked over you. Go ahead. Oh, we could do like parts, but some of your videos are so long that'd be so many parts. No, probably more of the tips and tricks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to, I don't know. We're not going to please everybody, but it's nice to know. If people like them. If people like them. Mm-hmm. What our besties think. Could I, Oh, I could ask in the Facebook group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk Duh. about an obvious thing. That's why we kind of have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have it because um, I can't remember who now said, hey, you going to do a Facebook group? I just did it right after the live. I know, yeah. I, I, I can't remember who that was either, but yeah. We were I'm just like, like, if oh, somebody's right. asking, it's time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'll do a commercial after this so it can dry a little bit and then I'll put some gold on it. Ooh, early commercial. Well, I haven't gotten around them yet. That's fine. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, this is a little darker yellow than this because it's got another coat on it. And then I've got a spot that wants to lift and I keep trying to, Mm -hmm. oh, and that just made it worse. Okay, I'm going to try and dab. Sometimes it just starts to dry on you and it doesn't want to (laughs) behave. Paint's supposed to do what I want it to do. It's my time. So even though this is one of my most simple ornaments and probably most simple videos on YouTube, this one takes me just as long because of the coats. (laughs) I could could use a bigger brush, but then I always want to kind of get in here Mm-hmm. So I just use this little guy. I could go around it. I kind of gave him a mouth, but I don't know if I mind that. I wasn't paying attention. I kind of like the mouth. Yeah. It doesn't really show. Too well, are you, and you, do you outline the bird or no? No, here, show. I'm going to see if I can set it down. Well, I, I, it's outlined in yellow and gold. Okay, I'm going to clean out my brush and we'll do a quick thank you. So next week there isn't a live. Um, Emily and I will be celebrating Thanksgiving. Not everybody in the world will be, but that's why we're not doing a live next week. And then um, I have a giveaway. Oh, I didn't grab the ornaments. Do you want me to grab? Yeah, they're... Um, on the chalk wall, mm-hmm. there's even a sticker or a post-it on it because it has the giveaway dates. 
So I'm giving away two ornaments on my Facebook page. Uh, it's my Facebook business page, and I just do it there only so I can find you. I used to do it, oh, way back in the day, I used to do it on all the social media spots, and then I worried I'd miss somebody. So I just do it on Facebook. Friday, November 18th, 2022 through Sunday the 20th. Um, I'll have random.org pick two winners, two winners on Monday the 21st. I'm giving away a reindeer ornament and a cardinal ornament. And I always just have a post-it like that was for uh, the post-it was for when I shot the giveaway video and I'm like I'll just leave it there because then I won't have to look it up thanks Sam mm -hmm. okay what else oh as long as we're doing that Em do you mind grabbing the tree on my big easel the brownish beige yes. tree I think it might fit under here tree what else I think that's the only painting I have here that's coming up reasonably soon so this is Friday, November 25th. And they're like, what is? <laughs> so I'm still into the structure gel. So this is a 12 by 12, so I'm gonna just kind of run it through here like a, I don't know, like a copy machine. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm you just need the, oops, I can't do it. It won't totally fit because I have a water bottle. There's the trunks. <laughs> anyway, that's coming up Friday the 25th. But I'm, I've been having so much fun with the texture. I bet that's a good shot of the texture with how close I don't know. It is. I can't tell because how much? I don't think I even have a foot here. Let's measure it. Oh, I do. I have about a foot between my phone and the <laughs> my t my art table. And then this, as long as I'm talking, is an 18 by 24 inch canvas panel that I just use to help protect my table. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much, Carol J and Catherine B for sending in money to support the channel. Super appreciated. I've been buying art supplies like crazy lately, so I, I can't thank you guys enough. And then I don't know uh, the person's name, but someone from Syracuse, New York, bought a gnome beach towel on my um, print shop. It's ann-tro.pixels.com. It's where all my art goes if you want prints or phone cases, or in, in this case, a beach towel. I thought that was real interesting. I wonder if they were maybe going on a cruise or something. Hmm. But Syracuse, New York is going to be about the same weather as we are. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's kind of chilly. All right. Oh, that's not dry enough. Could do the hair dryer. Oh, you know what? I know what we'll do. I'll come back to this one and show you how the gold works. I mean, there's really not any trick to it. You just put gold paint on it, just like I did the yellow. But while that dries, we'll pull out this one. So this one has two coats of yellow and then two coats, coats of the gold. So I'll work on this one for a bit and then we'll, we'll backtrack. I forgot what my plan was. Um, Susie says the tree is beautiful and Leanne says love the texture gel. It's fun. It is fun. Well, I like the change of pace too. Just something a little different. Let's see, what do I want to do? I think we'll paint. So this is quinacridone magenta. I think I have it in the heavy body too. I do. But I think I pointed out another in another live. This one's completely transparent. The box is open. This one is semi-transparent. The box is half full or half open. Just something to think about. It throws me sometimes. Even though I know it and I'll say it to myself, I still forget because I get in a habit. I like I like routine. Yeah, I just looked up all those suns on my uh, Bolton board. Emily, I don't need a sun direction tonight. <laughs> you don't. A light direct, a light source. Oh, that was the hooker's green. Okay, I think I'm just gonna we'll work on the heart because it's up. Up top, are we in frame? I looked, honey. Okay. I just called her honey. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Gravy said Xmas gifts can be for any time of the year in my book. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Christmas in July. So maybe we should do the point set in July. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would be in the mood. Yeah. I've never painted one. That'd be fun. It'd be easier than the peony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because their flowers are kind of leafy. It was fun, but, you know, 
it was very much like putting a hard puzzle together. You just, okay, go slow, find the edges, find the shapes. So I left the heart white just so the pink will be stronger. Be pinker. That's a better way to put it. Boy, that was tough, you guys. I hope you learned a lot with that. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Right here on the live, it just rolled right out of my mouth. Mm. Um, Leanne says, ooh, Annie, do you have stickers of your bees? They would be so cute. Wait, they are so cute. Would love to buy some. Yeah, there's stickers on the pixels.com. It's not in my merch store. Um, we could move them there, but there there are some on the ann-tro.pixels.com. I think the link is almost in all my videos description. One says shop merch and one says shop prints and something like that. It's in the prints. Yeah, like the realistic bees are... So I have some cutout, it, there'll be some cutout ones and I don't know if there'll be, there'll be some bee paintings that are stickers too. I don't remember the price on pixels. I will look it up. Or the sizes. I'm getting too many things to remember. Mm -hmm. I was asked about a pet portrait today. I'm like, I can't remember my own pricing. <laughs> <laughs> she was really nice. She's like, that's okay. I'm like, I have too many things going. <laughs> She was, it was, I stopped, I went to both galleries today and it was a gal at one of the galleries. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. <laughs> She's like, I want just a little five by seven. I'm like, I can't remember. It's a lot more than that. I dropped off a little polar bear and cardinal. Like it's a lot more. You need to go check it all out. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna grab a little more. To me, this is super relaxing. It's like no pressure. What mm -hmm. collection would um, the bees oh. be under? Are they floral? No. I mean, floral because flowers? Or are they in animal? I think they're in the flowers because... Yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure where I put the bees that I isolated. Like the Bee Happy t-shirt. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, it's in, it's in the flowers. All the bees are in the flowers. Okay, that's not very findable. The Be Happy sticker you can get in a 2x2, two 3x3, two, 4x4, three three, four four, and Ooh. a 6x6. Six six. Ooh, wow. So you could have a honking bee. <laughs> and then, so the 2x2s, two two, 290 Oh, that's about the same price as the other, as three, the merch store. Mm-hmm. 3x3 three is 350 I think I make 50 cents a sticker just for transparency. Oh yeah, the honkin' bee, they show it on the back of a, of a laptop, like taking up most of the laptop. That'd be cool. That'd be cute. I'm just playing with that because I just kind of started the zone. I'm going to put in my stem. Oh, I'm using a um, the new liner brush I broke out last week. Number one, Select Princeton brush. Oh, Sorry, and then you have like a bee cluster. I don't remember this one. You have like a three bee cluster mm -hmm. that's on there. Okay, they're on the flowers on the Pixels website. They're in the flowers collection. Mm hmm Yeah. If you go by collections, because I went like stationary, and then there's a stickers drop down, and then oh, yeah, it shows do. you the collections. You can do it that way. So I don't know if you saw that but I don't do one long line in one long stroke. And if it wiggles, it's okay. We're gonna put leaves on it. I didn't like short little strokey strokes. I'm gonna grab a little, I'm gonna clean off my brush and my paper towel. I'm gonna grab a little magenta and I should get a grayish. Well, it's not as dark as I want. Well, it's kind of pretty, but it's not doing what I want. I think I'll just use a Posca pen and dot the eye. Mm -hmm. I was gonna make it blackish, but it's or a dark gray, but it's. I decided not to go there. You could put out Mars black. I feel like the holidays are just gonna, also just like. We're here. Yeah, I know. I can't believe Thanksgiving's next week. Yeah. Oh, 
was trying to, I can't, I don't, I've got my calendar here, but I've got it buried. Like Kwanzaa should be really soon, shouldn't it? You can't look at my calendar though. I know. <laughs> I was oh. like, yeah, I went to reach for the calendar. Yeah, oh, I've got November. Here, I should I maybe show them. it's in them. December, right? I don't know. Oh, my calendar doesn't say. Um, I can look. Hanukkah's the 18th. It'll say on my... Here, so I schedule out. Here, my work calendar. Whoops, let's not drag through the paint. Sorry, guys, I just bumped my phone, too. My work calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I like the visual. It keeps me, keeps me on track. Is it good? It's buffering on my end. Uh, it says we're okay, okay on my phone. Thank you. Oh, I'm buffering hard. Huh, I wonder if Dad logged on. He's home. Um, I'm going to look in the chat. You guys can hear us, see us? Oh, it popped back in. Okay. Uh, and the chat's not saying. Of course, maybe I'm just impatient. Oh, yeah, you're even buffering on your end on the... Was um, I on the iPad? It's buffering like on the computer, like when I'm logged in as you and I can see the back end. Hmm. Nobody's commenting, so I'm wondering if they lost us. Yeah. Hey just, guys, if you can hear us, leave a comment in the chat. We appreciate the help. I'm My iPad isn't buffering and I'm not buffering. I think Gravy asked a question. Mm-hmm. I'm just putting in, I'm typing in the chat that we buffered hard and they probably need a refresh. Oh, I just got a comment. Oh, it was you. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to see it flop up on my phone. Oh, Deborah says everything seems fine. Oh, okay, great, thanks. I, I It spooked me because we even buffered like uh, in your back end, so I figured. I mm. did it on my iPad or my phone, but it doesn't mean we didn't buffer, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, I wonder let's if, see. I wonder if dad didn't log in or something. Well, we've been, we were skipping a little bit earlier. There were a oh. couple of people that commented. And, I, and mine was a little bit, but that was like right when we started. So oh, I'll, Cindy said it locked up for a minute. Oh, sorry guys. We don't know why. Um, all I did was put some pink and some white. And then if you want to blend it out, you can just add, let it dry or something. And you can kind of scumble or just, you know, work the wet edge and blend it. If it dries, just paint over it. Whatever you want to do there. Okay, so Gravy's question oh, yeah. was um, 5 by 7 for equals 35. 35 times dollar or like X amount of dollars question mark equals cost of painting. Is that a fair way to price? acrylic paintings or keep track of hours in materials used um, um i'm thinking of asking to join the gallery on lincoln avenue g-o-l-a and have no clue what to do oh yeah so go in there and see what other artists are doing um because it'll vary per, it, per gallery in your area it'll vary and this is total opinion and I've heard this from other artists, if that helps you at all, it doesn't make it right. I'm not trying to make it right. I'm just saying I've heard other artists say this. So most of them do either square inch, which is I what, think what you just said, five by seven, yeah, mm -hmm. um, times a certain amount. Um, mm -hmm. I do linear inch. So I would do five plus seven. So I would do five plus seven, which is what? 10, a 12? 12. 12. Times... <laughs> For little paintings, I do $6 a linear inch. For big paintings, I do 10 So I would do 12 times 6 would be my price. But, so I do linear inch because, here, let me slow down. I do linear inch because I think it scales better. Uh, square inch, sometimes it's kind of jerky as you move up in size. You can see which you like better. Artists, A lot of artists do square inch. Um, quite a few do linear inch like I do. But, like, a little 5x7 snowman... I'm not going to sell him. What, is, what would that be? Um, two, five plus seven times six. Okay. You know, I have to find a calculator. It won't <laughs> sell for that price. So yeah. I just sell these for $35 because I know they'll move. Five plus seven times six is 72. Yeah, this would be $72. Nothing wrong with that. I know artists that sell something like this for way more. But people in Omaha don't know me. People on the internet know me. People like in New York City know me. 
<laughs> but people in Omaha don't know me. And it's like, they're like, well, it's just a snowman painting, you know? Mm -hmm. So little ones like this, like these little ornaments I sell for $15. I'm not saying you should um, because I really don't. I cover my costs basically at $15 and I get my art in their hands. But, you know, it's a lot of work for very little money. Mm -hmm. um, I sell the little, like little, I don't, oh, I do have one. The little chickadee I showed last week. That's a little four by four on a thick canvas. I sell those for 25. So, um, yeah. So square inch or linear inch is what a ton of artists do to make my answer short. But um, sometimes you have to go. There's another artist and I that sell little bird paintings that are four inch by four inches on blocks. And we bought, and she was already selling it for 25. I'm like, oh, good. I already was using that price too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you kind of have to go either undercut your competitors in the gallery. <laughs> um, the gallery could also totally, if they're taking 50%, you know, I would only get $7.50 an ornament. You have to decide if you're okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, it would the, gal the two galleries I sell in, one doesn't, I just pay an annual fee to be there. So it ends up to be about 5%. Um, the other gallery only takes 10% on little paintings and 30% on bigger paintings. So you kind of have to factor that into it. Every gallery is going to be different, which t doesn't help you. There's no cut and dried. Mm -hmm. All right, Emily, was that way too much? No. Yeah, it, you're going to do a little research. Go visit the gallery you want to be in. And, and you can even ask them, like, hey, you know, how do you do it? What's expected of me? How do you earn your money? Okay, I think, oh, here, I'll put leaves on. Mm, Gravy says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. Linear sounds fair. Well, for me, I think it scales up better, but that doesn't mean it's better. Mm -hmm. um, square inch is super popular way to do it. But I'm glad that helped a little bit. That was quite a bit. I tend to <laughs> I get a little geeky with it. It took me a long time. And then I, I raised my prices. I've lowered my prices. Yeah, you really played with prices at the... Um, um, yeah, go ahead, hon. In Nebraska City, you know, because it's a oh. different demographic, so it's harder to... you you got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, Nebraska City really... Um, it's a smaller town. I don't know how many thousand. Like 3,000 mm -hmm. people. Omaha, I think, is still about a half a million if you don't count all the suburbs. So, you know, there's a difference. Um, and it makes a difference in what people are willing to pay. And then I recently, I've been running a studio sale in October, November, and December down at the downtown gallery. And the downtown gallery gets a lot of, about half the traffic is tourists. But I lowered my prices to move paintings because I don't need paintings in my house. And they're, they're moving quite well. But then if I think about how much time I spent on it, you know, <laughs> it's like, ah, it, it, it can drive you insane. It's like the, the question every artist struggles with. But I'm happy to be moving them, and I'm happy they have homes, and, I'm, and I want to paint more, you know. So, But I cut my, I basically am doing half price originals right now. Oh, here's a thought. <clears throat> as long as I'm on my soapbox. Emily, we need a soapbox. <laughs> what I, I am running a studio sale, so I'm, I feel like I'm getting away with it. But if you have prints for sale online like I do, you don't want your original, say if it's a 10 by 10 price, you want that original price to be more than the 10 by 10 print that's canvas wrapped. You don't want to undercut your print sales. Well, you can, but it can really irritate people. And then you have to deal with cranky people. They're like, why is the original less than a print? So, all right, that was, that was, <laughs> I could probably go on again about Emily, don't let me. <laughs> okay. Stop. Stop, mom. <laughs> Um, Gravy says, I trust your opinion over strangers. Oh, well, thank you. It's just, it's totally my opinion. And you know, it might not work for you. Eventually you figure it out a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. still, every time I, I've been at this gallery now a year, just over a year, the downtown one, and I'm still figuring it out. You know, I mean, a $15 ornament will sell because it's real easy to buy. A $25 little bird painting sells because it's easy for people to spend that amount. Yeah. And with the tourists, the little ones go because they can throw it in a suitcase. Mm -hmm. Although I sold a, 
16, my 16 inch cow painting one of those big wood panels and it was going, it went to Australia. Yeah, that was cute. It was really cute. I'm just mixing greens and painting leaves. Oop, that one didn't show. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself being on a soapbox. I don't lack for words. I just don't know if I make sense. Yeah, I think if you just say a lot of words and say you a just lot keep of words. going, then it you know it makes all the more sense, or something maybe makes sense in the mess, yeah. you know. So I do the same thing. I don't know. Well, I think it actually makes it harder, but for people. Well, that was me making you feel better. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> I passed my dysfunction on to you. <laughs> that was me comforting you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> mm. I need to. I should make a little. Um, I wonder if this is dry enough. Let's do that. All right, so this gold, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll just do a little test run here. We'll see. Wait, go ahead, honey. Did I cut you off? No, I was, I was just saying a thought out loud. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, one thing, when I went from working for someone, like a printer or wherever, to being my, a self-employed graphic designer, it was so nice to be able to talk to myself out loud. Mm -hmm. But in an office, you really don't want to do that because you're going to be so annoying to those who work around you. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's, it probably looks pretty good on video or on live stream. Mm, Gravy says, I have given over 250 paintings in the last two years and sold four. I keep hearing I need to do a gallery, so I suppose I will give it a try. Oh, yeah. Um... I never wanted to be in a gallery. <laughs> yeah, you kind of resisted for a while. I yeah. resisted, I resisted, and that's, I started out art, licensing my art, which I still really like, and I still do that. Um, I don't know why I didn't want to be in a gallery. I guess because my art's just happy. It doesn't have a lot of deep meaning. I don't, and not every gallery is like that, especially now. You know, when I was young, mm -hmm. I just, you know, I don't know. I just wasn't interested. I wasn't even painting when I was young. I was very much a drawer. But then I started thinking, hmm, if I could paint a cow, sell the original, mm -hmm. and then put the cow on a garden flag because it's got a sunflower or whatever in its mouth and mm -hmm. add a bumblebee to it, and I could license it. So I started painting more for both of those. A lot of birds with one stone. Yeah. And then Emily talked me into you two. And I was like, how about another layer? You film it, <laughs> then you sell the original. Well, I was video. I was doing a really bad job. I mean, I don't know that I'm not much better, but I was doing a really bad job of videoing the pet portraits. So that's kind of how that. And I, I, is it fair that I say that you talked me into YouTube? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't mean like it's mean or anything. I, I think I needed the nudge. I, I didn't know I was going to really love it. <laughs> I was like, huh? Um, Diane said, late dinner, just having a Kit Kat with a lovely glass of red wine. Um, have seven paintings in a local art show. Oh, yay. Yay. Congrats. How fun is that? That's so fun. And then in another, um, chat, she says, generally original art does not sell here. People will buy an Ikea poster over art. That's the world. I, yeah, it depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. That's the world I came from is, you know, because uh, like, I mean... Um, I worked for an interior design studio in town and, um, you know, a, a painting that is 48 by 48 is the cost of your 10 by 10. Yeah. Um, so it's a hard transition for um, even the designers, for people that were art lovers and have a bunch of art, typically it's smaller pieces because it costs more. Oh, yeah. So... Some of them, it was a little, like, you know, they're used to just, you buy this piece that's just a reprint or a reproduction that looks like it was kind of painted, and it's big enough to go behind your sofa, so. Well, Original and, art kind of throws yeah. throws that world for a loop. I don't know if you can see that it doesn't cover very well. Mm-hmm. You can see that it's kind of patchy, or at least you see all your brush stroke. Yeah, strokes. even though I put a nice solid color underneath it. If you don't put the solid color underneath it, then it's going to look even patchier and it's going to need more coats if you want it to look more solid. That's the only point of me showing you. 
Mm, but Suzanne says that gold, that gold really looks good over the yellow. Yeah, it really helps it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing silver, just paint a gray. You know, doing a copper color, just paint kind of a rusty copper color underneath. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter your yellow. I've done um, yellow oxide underneath. It just makes a darker gold when you're done. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's real. Well, and then the you can't tell, but the the irid the gold is slipperier and kind of. It's just funny. You guys, if you buy some, you have to let me know what you think. <laughs> Slipperier? It, it, it is. It kind of slides and it doesn't, yeah. um, it feels different. I know what you mean. It, yeah, it's because um, the iridescent I have is very similar to it's, that feeling. Yeah, it slides rather than paints, but that mm -hmm. doesn't describe it very well on a live stream. So I'm probably going to stop this in a minute, in a little bit. and. Um, Gravy says, yeah, I get upset when family and friends buy machine-made art without asking me to make it. That's oh. how I'm in that place of like I want um I want to like pieces for above the nightstands in the master. Hmm. I should paint both like, those barns the I same should. size. <laughs> you should. Yeah, um <laughs> I didn't know. Um but I'm like I and I it would probably just be like an abstract piece only like, oh, so I'm yeah. like I can do that. I'm just going to do that and then I never do that. <laughs> oh, cuz it takes time. Mm -hmm. Got to do it. You could borrow my paint. Um, Diane asks, is the gold iridescent? Yeah. Here. I'll grab it. I don't remember when Diane came in. Just, Ir a, just a couple minutes ago. Iridescent bright gold. Um, says semi-transparent, but man, to me, it's the most transparent color I've ever used. Of course, ever is a big word. I'll probably come across something else that's a lot more transparent, but... Yeah, I don't know. Can you see? Oh, there. Like I left a thicker patch. You could see. It just needs a couple coats. So while this is a really easy dove, prepare. If you want a somewhat solid looking gold. Now this isn't. It's probably going to look pretty good on video. You can see it's a little lighter around the heart. Um, it takes two coats of gold and two coats of the yellow underneath. Maybe one if you got a really good opaque yellow. Yeah, it's interesting because it's going to, you know, I, we get people to other countries that are painting and selling art. It, it's really going to vary. You really have to research your area. To, mm -hmm. And I am still trying to figure it out. Oh, that angle you were painting at, you really caught the, like, shine of. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I keep saying I'm going to stop and I go a little further. I'm going to see how much time. I think about 40 minutes. Because this I'm going to use Posca pens and keep it real simple for the snow dots. Oh, I was going to say, um, do you remember Deb Grosser? I could say her whole name because she's out there. Mm -hmm. Deb Grosser here in mm -hmm. our area. Mm -hmm. So she's... Um, when she first started selling her art, I don't know what she was selling it for. I'm on this soapbox, Em. That's fine. You um, stay on that soapbox. <laughs> but now she's the president, and has been for quite a while, of the American Impressionist Society. Mm. And a little, like, 8 by 10 painting goes for I don't know how many thousands of dollars. Yeah. So some of it's name recognition and just keeping mm -hmm. at it, you know? I mean, yeah. I couldn't do that. But she's, she sells at Ginger's at oh. the, one of the galleries I'm in. And I was looking at a beautiful frame. I think they framed for her. And she has her own gallery, too, her of her own work. But I'm like, that's just cool that she can get several thousand dollars for a little 8 by 10 Mm-hmm. That's hashtag made it. Yeah. Well, I, I knew her <laughs> when. She couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do uh, her ads for her in, like, the Art of the Southwest magazine. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. That Deb. Mm -hmm. It was funny when I uh, applied to the downtown gallery, which is a cooperative gallery. Um, I was saying to the, one of the people, I'm like, I don't know any artists here in Omaha. I don't know mm -hmm. who I could use as a reference. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, geez, what about Deb, who's the president? <laughs> You think that's good enough? So I'm like, oh, geez, I do know somebody. So then I emailed her and Deb was like, sure. <laughs> Like, that was so funny. I'm like, talk about name dropping. I forgot that that was a requirement. I find that, 
That's kind of stinky because, like, what if you are, like, young and you don't, you're not, you're straight out of college, so, like, you may not have names in... I don't world, think, yeah, know? I don't think they're that. Oh, okay. That, because we do, we do have, the gal, one of the gals that joined with me was straight, not quite straight out of college, but really close. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you have to. Okay. It's kind of like a. But I definitely name dropped when I applied. <laughs> it's, it's definitely like um, when, uh, you know, a, a business asks for references, but never calls them kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Diane said, in Europe, art is everywhere, so they buy original art. Oh, yeah, and it, that's also, like, mecca of art, you know. What is it? I didn't catch um, it. In Europe. Oh, Art yeah. is everywhere, and they buy original art. Um, they are comfortable with nude art as well. Oh, yeah. definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah it really depends on where you live. They are where, like, art comes from. <laughs> I'm in cow and corn country. You are in cow and corn country. Which is why I started paying cows because when Nebraska City, I thought, hmm, I wonder if that will sell. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, that will sell. Yeah, you paint for your region. Yeah. Well, you don't have to, but if you, like for me, I want to, I want to make a living with it. So then I try to, yeah. try things to see what's going to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my first cow was like two years ago. Of course, I was, before that, I was licensing my art, so it was cute, kind of cartoony dogs and, mm -hmm. I don't know, palette knife Christmas things. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea that it, it just, I wish you could feel this. <laughs> It just kind of slides. It's is just, it thinner? No. Okay. It's just weirder. Yeah, I'm trying to. I haven't used the iridescent paint in so long. So, but I. I it could be because it's what old. You mean. That too. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it seems very creamy, but I don't know. It just doesn't cover that great. So the first time I used this on the side of a painting, little painting for Christmas, and I went straight for with the gold onto the white. I don't know. I. I was getting so frustrated. I don't know if you can see that it isn't covering very well. I was getting so frustrated because I had like five coats on it and it still wasn't. I'm like, oh, I need to underpaint color to help mask the fact that it's not. Here, maybe you can kind of see. I'm going to clean up my brush and I'll show you another another look. I had someone today that said they were, pa they were painting the tree ornaments and another one. I, that's so fun to hear. Can you see? The, oh, yeah, you can tell this one's darker too. It's got two. two yeah, you can. Two things of gold on it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind the brush strokes, just go with it. I'm just maybe being a little picky. You know, personal preference always rules out. Okay, let's get out the Posca pens. Thanks for asking that question. Sorry, I keep thinking about it. <laughs> You like that question. <laughs> well, stuff pops into my head. Yeah. And so I keep... I'm just misting my paints with a little bit of water. That's a old... It just has water in there. It used to be glass cleaner. I like the fine mist so I don't get big water droplets. I'm going to take a drink, too. I'm going to look at the chat. Well, in the chat, Diane says, "Are you? Uh, you are lucky all the farmland around me has been taken over by... The housing industry. I feel like we're getting there. Oh, yeah. we Well, we kind of are, too. We're corn country, so we probably won't officially. But, like, I mean... Um, I don't know. Elkhorn area, when I was a kid, like, and we would drive to Lincoln to go see Gramps, um, was literally, like, dead. Nothing. And now it's all neighborhoods. It's all houses. Built out. Yeah. Like, we would get, we'd get off... Um, I don't know. The exit does not matter, because most of these people are... Here. No, plus but, we, plus then you start telling people where we are too well, much. Too much. I, I mean, just thinking of the initial like Elkhorn oh. exit or whatever. But yeah. like, it's nothing and it's dead. And now there's a big like shopping center out there, and there's um like ha you just drive by houses. There's a high school. There's yeah, it does. It's so built up now. Well, we tend to go out rather than up. You yes. know, if you're a place like uh, New York City is stuck in my brain this evening, but yeah, we go they up. go up. 
Mm -hmm. um, we can't go east, though, because we're on the Missouri River. Correct, yeah. You're into Iowa, then. But yeah, we do, too. It's... I don't but know also how bad we're, it is. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm shaking the Posca pen. But also, we're... Like, the... We, it obvious, like, I always make the joke that I think Omaha will touch Lincoln by the time, like, I have grandkids. So Lincoln's about an hour southwest of here. And um, especially because it, it was kind of like you, Omaha, Elkhorn, Gretna. Then there's a bunch of other littles in between. But mostly those are the mains and then Lincoln. Yeah. Um, but um, and Elkhorn and Gretna are, like, now touching. And Elkhorn's officially annexed, but whatever. Um, <laughs> most of Nebraska, like the other side, it's open, you know, like we are the edge and we're the big city. So yeah. when you go west, it starts to get quite dry. So it's more ranching rather than farming. True. True, true, true. So that also affects. Mm. Gravy said, I always thought of Nebraska as agriculture, as agricultural, as an agricultural state. It's just not as much as it was. I'd like to see... FFA and FBLA join up and create a free lunch program through the local agricultural, through local agricultural ran by the school kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, the eastern, I'm not an expert. The eastern third, they grow corn and crops, but the west, the western two thirds is pretty much ranching. But all, you know, FFA type kids. Mm -hmm. Quite a few small towns. Not a ton of small. Iowa is like littered with small towns. Nebraska, the population's pretty sparse. Yeah. Um, a couple of decent. Omaha is definitely by far the hugest city. And Lincoln is the next biggest at half the size. Mm -hmm. And then there's a couple more. And then it just gets real little, little towns. And Yeah. I remember like, especially when you hit, when I, so I went to the, local university in Omaha and uh, people that are from you know didn't want to go to Lincoln but wanted to stay in Nebraska didn't want a huge college so you go as huge of a college so you go to a UNO yeah um it, it's always the descriptor of like okay well have you heard of this small town whatever yeah. okay we're 30 miles from the, da -da -da. yeah like yeah. north of south of that or something yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know them all yeah People don't ask me, when I, oh, you're from Nebraska. Do you know this? No. Do you no. know this town? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I say, oh, it's only like an hour from where I grew up. I'm like, oh, really? I probably know more Iowa, like, since we are so close. I know more Iowa towns than. I feel like I do, too. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use a lightish, lighter green. I think that's what I used on this one. Mm, Jennifer says, I picked up my paintbrush for the first time in 30 years. Wow. It's not as easy as riding a bike. LOL. <laughs> Well, congrats on picking up your paintbrush again. Yeah, it'll come back. It will start to. I was rustier. Like I don't, I don't practice drawing at all, and I really should. Um, but I've noticed when I do pick up a pencil, and I'm quite rusty, but I'm, I'm still better. Do, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The painting is still helping me with the drawing. Um, so it'll come. It'll, it'll. It might take a little bit, but it'll start to come back. You haven't lost it all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was pretty rusty. I didn't really paint, and so I started wanting to license my art, and then I was watercolor painting. So it's, this is a 0.7 millimeter. I'm going to put a little dot in there. I'm just going to try to be random. Just drawing little circles. You could just dot, but they're pretty little. Mm, Diane says, that is so true, but watch... Um, but watch, watch YouTube in whatever form of art you prefer and practice every day. Yeah, yeah, you can. The pandemic definitely helped my art. My art got a lot better. Um, if you go look at the old videos to the new videos, you might not agree, but I think my mm -hmm. art's gotten a lot. My eyes, my animal eyes, got a lot better. And I keep you keep getting better because you'll you don't realize you figure stuff out as you go. But yeah, I I stopped being a graphic designer at the beginning of the pandemic, which was a little scary, but it worked out all right. I th I'm a lot happier, don't you think I'm? Mm -hmm. Less cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I do sometimes. I'm like, okay, I just want to sit down and start a painting. Mm -hmm. You know, paint a background. I love painting the backgrounds, like a simple, little simple sweepy sky. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'm better. <laughs> 
I didn't realize, and it really helped me during the pandemic too. I was didn't realize I was anxious. Probably to under that goes under too much information, maybe. Um, Diane said Toronto, Toronto, Ontario grows condos fifty plus stories high. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Yeah, we just grow shopping malls, which are or not shopping malls. We grow, we grow strip malls, which are flat in one story. <laughs> Well, and we don't need, and then they're empty. And Yeah, I know. Of course, I mean, it's easy to criticize. I don't know how hard it is to run a city or how that works. Mm -hmm. but... Whoops, I need more white ones. I kind of signed it and then because I didn't want to put too many dots. Yeah, we don't have many. There's, like, obviously, you know, tall buildings downtown. And then there's, like, a cluster of, but they're not, like, 50 stories. That's, like... Tall, tall. No, no not that um, tall. There's a cluster in Exarbon. And then there's, like, the cluster at um, 144th. But, like, those are, like, it for tall. Yeah. I was glad to see they're putting all those new apartments in downtown, though. Yeah. And they're around the gallery that I yes. sell in, so yay. Not on the edge now. <laughs> no. Um, Gravy says, yeah, 20 years before the pandemic was the last time I painted. Yeah. 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 Same. I started drawing again in the pandemic. Oh, did you? I didn't really. Mm -hmm. I didn't really draw before. And then I think, did I? I th and then that's when I hijacked um, Chase's old iPad. Oh, yeah. And then I got Procreate. And then I suffered with that iPad because it was however many years old. And then I'm trying to, you know. Well, you, you, you're not doing, you don't have time right now, but you have your Etsy store. Mm-hmm. And then, um, but, like, it would crash constantly. The oh. Procreate would crash constantly. <laughs> but, I mean, prior to that, I guess I, uh, I would do the occasional, like, birthday card. I would draw a birthday card, but that's not really. Hey, that's, yes, it is. Well, yeah, but, like, it wasn't, I'm you know, at you. somebody's birthday every three months or oh, something. I drew yeah. a birthday card. It wasn't. Well, I should draw all the time, and I don't. I started that sketchbook, and I did, what, two, three videos, and I stopped. Um, Susie says, that little painting is beautiful. Yeah, this one's one of my faves this year. I think this one and the reindeer are my faves. I think it's very beginner friendly. You just need patience for the layers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some green out here. I'm almost done. <laughs> I like the green. I'm laughing because I really went off on the pricing gallery tangent. <laughs> I think that was like, we need to change the title too. Talk about how to price in a gallery, plus, and then like whisper, plus I painted a dove. You know, ornament. we should. <laughs> should, because that might be helpful to somebody else. Yeah. And it's not, it's, it's, you know, it, it kind of gives you maybe an idea, but it's going to really just depend on your area, what you can get, get going. Mm, Diane says here, strip malls are being demolished everywhere for condos. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. If I wonder we'll... what's going to happen with our malls because a couple of our malls have closed. Well, the... I mean, the one's open, but there's not much in it. Sorry. Well, they're turning the Crossroads one, which is kind of like... Oh, yeah. The one, like, it's probably the closest one to downtown, I guess. Um, it, they're And they're just, guess what they're turning it into? A strip mall. <laughs> oh, are they? I thought it was going to be like office buildings. and. It's going to be like... It, I think there are going to be some office buildings. It's going to kind of be like Exarbin or like a village... Point. So, like, outdoor shopping center, business park to type thing. Oh, oh yeah. Probably some condos on the back half I think they were going to try and do, but I don't know. I guess there I don't mind because that's a super busy intersection. Yeah. Or apartments. I don't know if they were. They're probably apartments. We, there's apartments everywhere. Yeah, housing prices. Mm, Diane agrees, agrees that pricing is a good topic. Yeah, um... I've mostly, well, yeah, I was going to say I mostly lowered mine, but mm -hmm. that's not true. I bounce around. I, the studio sale that I've been running, I'll run through December, is really helping um, as far as moving things and cash flow. It's mm -hmm. not helping me become rich. Yeah. I don't know how to put that. Um, Gravy says they turned the Hastings Mall into housing. I follow somebody. Oh, I keep forgetting he's in Nebraska. 
Yeah, yes. Well, that's why he said the Lincoln Gallery. And yeah, that's what did. started this whole thing. Oh, yeah. But when he said Lincoln, I didn't, I didn't, I grew up in Lincoln. I don't know if we, I told you that, Gravy. Um, but um, so I follow sorry. somebody on TikTok that literally, oh, I can't remember who they are, but they, um, they live in an apartment that was once like a mall. And it's, they have a pretty cool apartment because oh. it's kind of like yeah. if you walk out into the main area of the building, it's still set up like a mall ish or you can tell it was like built for a mall and then they oddly turned it into an apartment building kind of like when dad had the office down in the old bank building which is pretty cool because it has the mm -hmm. um, escalator in the middle and the open atrium area yeah yeah i'm sorry crazy i knew that but it just sometimes my brain doesn't click well and i switch depending on where i talk to him i switch with what name i use mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that one took a lot of clarification. It was like, okay, same person? Yes, same person. <laughs> I thought about the noise gallery. I, I have not been, I don't know their pricing. I don't know if that interests you. I, I don't know if that's a co-op or how that one works. Mm, Jennifer says, I'm lucky. Um, I'm a mile from the, from the nearest pavement surrounded by farms and woods. My deer mm. have names. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they're you uh, speaking of like they're even building more would that be like more north. Like I used to see so many deer when I was driving around north the north right. side of Omaha. You used to see them around Emily's high school. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's all that farmland. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, there were so many deer. Which is also sc it was scary in the winter or the spring? Both. Both? Yeah, both. Because they'd jump out. Mm-hmm. Do yeah, I don't see them anymore. Like, I would be driving oh. home from, like, Chase's parents to my apartment, and there I'd see foxes and oh, deer yeah. Yeah. and, like, whatever. But, like, I don't even, even just in the last couple of years, I don't see them anymore. No, nah, it's too built up. Um, Deborah says, what size point um, are your Posca pen markers? Uh, seven millimeter. Seven millimeter. It's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's Japanese. Oh, really teeny 0.7 mm. You probably can't. That's too teeny here, right there. Um, I have a bigger one. I signed the back of like canvas paintings. I don't know that it would matter. I just like it better. It looks a little nicer. Um, I'm assuming that's a three millimeter or no, it's a weird. It says it's a 0.9 to a 1.3 mil millimeter. I wonder if that has to do with like whether you lay it down, because mm -hmm. it's not the littlest tip. I'm hoping my phone is focusing. So I'm just hanging out now, Em, because I finished. Okay. We finished this one. It's cute. Put you could put different colored dots. I kind of do them a little different every time. This one has littler dots on the inside. Yeah, I like that. This one has bigger dot. The one on the right has bigger dots. I like it. You like the littler dots? Mm-hmm. Mm. You just pulled down the little dot one, like the because it lags for me. Oh, I only like the bigger dot one. Oh, okay. Well, it they all they're they always turn out a little different. Deb Deborah says thanks. Um, for the the Posca pinpoint size. Um, oh sure. Hey, and I love the questions. I like that you guys hang out with me. <laughs> I'm you know I must spend a lot of time alone in my studio, which I don't mind. Um, but I didn't realize how good it is for me to have art buddies to hang out with. Mm -hmm. um, Gravy says, the most deer I've seen was in southwestern Texas. Too many to count, but only the size of greyhounds. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Jennifer likes the bigger dots. I, li I think I like the bigger dots, too. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I do it a little different every time. And then sometimes I find something I like a little bit better. Mm. Debbie says, we are a half mile from pavement, surrounded by fields and woods, 10 miles from town, less than 5,000. Oh. Um, the downside is being three hours from the nearest Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Yeah, that would yeah. stink. Yeah. Yeah, that would be so, like, that would be such a change of pace. Let's see. Michael's is, <laughs> there's there's three or four Michael's in Omaha. Yeah. Like, not far. <laughs> let me think. Hop, skipping a. A mile north? You can you can technically, yeah, you can technically cut through like a 
bunch of different... You would never have to use, a, theoretically, a main main street. Yeah. We can just cut through a million neighborhoods. Although Amazon is definitely my friend. U.S. Art Supply, okay, they are not sponsoring this. <laughs> But you've been liking them lately. Well, I you, I can order them. So Emily and I share Amazon Prime, which is really nice. So then the shipping is quite inexpensive. And then U.S. Art Supply, last time I ordered directly from their website, had free shipping. Mm -hmm. And the same pricing. It's like, huh. Well, I like these because it says that they're archival and 100% cotton. So usually 100% cotton means it's archival. But it says 100% cotton and archival and acid-free. So I'm like, okay, they truly mean this is archival quality mm -hmm. although once i drill holes in it i don't know if that's still true <laughs> if i ruined the integrity of yeah the archival quality yeah but i just like that you know for such a inexpensive product mm, gravy says anyone got u.s art supply through walmart plus question mark i bet it's i don't the know uh, uh, Walmart's trying to be, you know, Amazon 2.0, so they right. it probably is all the same. Yeah, I don't know if they do. I know you have to sign up for, like, this company would have to sign up to sell through there. They probably have to pay a fee, you know. Oh, yeah, it, the Walmart Plus is a fee, but um, I would assume it's all very much the same. Yeah, they could. I don't know if they have. I haven't looked for it. I just found them on Amazon originally because I was looking for canvas panels. Mm-hmm. I think Michael's was out. Pandemic stuff, you know. Can't find things. I keep trying to think of a town that's like 5,000 near here so I can picture. Oh, near here? I don't. You'd have to Google. And, I know. That's what I was just about to do. <laughs> um, where your dad's from, that's 5,000. Oh. If that helps you. But okay, also, so like kind of, I mean, but also I haven't been there since I was. Well, and it depends on what, in every 5,000 size town is going to be a little different because it depends on what's near mm -hmm. it. You know? Like, they have a little hospital, but I don't know that it, there's any, there's even a doctor there anymore. I'm just putting more gold on just to make it. Because, I mean, people-wise, I can relate that to, like, that's my high school. Everyone that's in my, high, in my, like, previous, or, like, when I was in high school, that's everyone that's was in my high school at one time if there were, like, two smashed together. Because we are maybe just one. And one and a half. One and a half. Yeah, because we'll just say teachers and staff are probably oh, true. equal out a grade. Like in weight, you know, like they're probably the same amount of kids were, that were in like my graduating class. There's probably that many teachers and staff. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that paint. It's just sliding on me. It doesn't like water really. Ah, Debbie says they have four stoplights in the whole town. Okay, that helps me picture too. <laughs> yeah. It does depend. So now I'm thinking about galleries in Lincoln, Nebraska, which isn't going to interest very many people. <laughs> mm, Gretna's technically 5,000. Oh, is it? I would say it's bigger. Mm -hmm. That's I don't know how old this site is, though. Wahoo is just un is just under five. Okay. Okay. That gives me a... Jennifer doesn't have stoplights or fast food. Ooh. Oof. I would... Well, healthier living. Yes. <laughs> yes, very much healthy living. I'd be in trouble. I suppose since the pandemic, we've been eating a lot more fast food. Because you could go through the drive through and eat it at yeah, home. Yeah, we really eat, it's if we eat out, except for the occasional whatever dinner out, we pretty much eat at home anymore, cause, unless it's fast food. Well, Chase became a chef. Yeah, <laughs> Chase went from not oh. from cooking eggs in the microwave to to chef. Oh, <gasps> no, Chase man, I wonder what happened. I bet it's just the it's going to be the first life he's forgotten. That's okay. <gasps> I mean, my gosh, we need to mark this in history. You're going to go home and tease him now. I will. <laughs> it's totally fine. I'm just so used to him popping in and making, mm -hmm. com making comments. I know. I don't know if you can see it now. This is a little more. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Boy, I have crappy lighting. You can see a little more patchiness over here. What time is it? I'm just hanging out. It's seven fifteen. If you want, if we want to stop early, we can stop early, or we can right. hang out. 
We'll see what the chat, the chat's the boss. The chat is the boss. At least for 15 more minutes, they're the boss. Yeah, I don't know how. It's This is for you guys. I mean, I would be painting this anyway, but I like that you ask questions and I can just share my experience. Everybody's going to have it. Every artist will have a different answer, no matter what you ask them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, oh, I was thinking about, um, somebody comments about watching YouTube videos. I watch other artists and I know that I've gotten better just from watching them. Not like instantly, but since I started doing YouTube, I started watching other people and other artists on YouTube, mm -hmm. both for how do they do it and their art and how do they do the YouTube part of it. Like, I am better just for watching. You don't think you're learning, but, or I don't think I'm learning. But I'm like, oh, I do. And I get ideas. Like, colorful dirt. I got that from Karen Margulis, who's a pastel painter. She has YouTube videos. You guys might like her. I like that last name. <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. I didn't know, like, was it Margulies? You know, I think she says Margulis. But she's always like, put some dirt down. And then I noticed her dirt was kind of colorful. I'm like, oh, that'd probably help me. It's scary, but it'll probably help, you know? I also, I got to I don't know, I don't tell you this very often, but I got a comment yesterday mm -hmm. from a guy who's really liked the cloud video, mm -hmm. was thanking me for it, which I super appreciate. That's so nice. And, he, and then he came back today and said he bought a makeup brush. Because <laughs> I have a makeup brush, probably. I had never used a makeup <laughs> brush before. I just did it on the fly in that video. I'm like, geez, I kind of like this. Yeah. It's kind of like the Deerfoot Stippler experience. Yeah, I don't really use it, and I really should. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. like, I can't wait to try it. That was so funny. I, I super, I commented back. I'm like, I, that's just so funny. I appreciate yeah. that. I like that he came back to say. Yeah, he came back with another comment. <laughs> I'm like, keep in touch. That was really fun. Um, let's see here. Back to small town. Oh, sure. Um, or, uh, yeah, I'm just slow on the chat. Um, Gravy said, we had a Dairy Queen and a Pizza Hut. Oh, but yeah. they're gone now. A few mom and pop restaurants popped up. Well, that's nice. Oh, that I would nice. probably prefer that over. Except, um... A, probably the person that owns that franchise is a family in town, I'm assuming, you know? I feel like that's... Oh, probably, but I don't, yeah. Because I, there's, I can't remember who I went to college with, but they were like, their what their family did is they like owned the Taco Bell and the McDonald's in town. Like they just, they were the franchise owners or something. I would think that restaurants are a tough business. Mm-hmm. Um... Gravy says the hip kids watch Ten Hun on YouTube. I have never heard, so I'm no longer Excuse a hip me. kid. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Um, Jennifer says, um, do you gesso did you did you gesso prime or do you gesso prime canvases? Rarely. Sometimes I do for giggles. And um I didn't and it sucked up my paint. Oh, um I maybe I'm so used to it. That, I, that I'm sure your experience is accurate. I don't because they come pre-primed. I like to jump right into it. <laughs> I wonder if there's... Because if I just so, it's got to dry overnight. I remember if there... I wonder if there's a word missing. Do you... Because it says, do you gesso primed canvases. I wonder if it's, do you use gesso primed canvases. I didn't and it sucked up my Oh, paint. I... Yeah, I, I buy pre-primed canvases. Um, I do use clear gesso on wood panels. Which I really like, but it says, you know, it says wait 24 hours before you paint. I wait overnight because I don't want to wait. And I'm not that quite that organized. You know, I don't have a bunch of primed canvases going. Um, what I can't think of anything else. I typically don't. Um, you mm -hmm. know, you, I, sometimes I'll put down a, um, they call it a color ground. You just, I would just put color. Like these I painted white first. Um, and I use the less expensive white. A lot, which is basically mm -hmm. kind of like gessoing it, so I don't even notice it. So mm. I just put some paint down, you know. Yeah, Diane says, "Don't knock the fields and woods." I'm a block away from the city of Toronto, over two million. Yeah, I. Oh, two million. Yeah, that's a whole nother. I mean, we live in a city, or it's, and especially like 
people that I know that have come from even smaller towns like Nebraska area that like we're city folk. I know, but but we're really not. No, but uh, it was like a culture shock when I went to New York and I was claustrophobic everywhere. Oh, I New was York like, City, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even. You can't see like. Try. I'm, I'm so used to you know we get on the major street here and you can see for miles. Yeah, it's pretty flat. Yeah, I mean, we like, are near the river. It's not as flat as the rest of Nebraska. Yeah. Well, Toronto, I was there once ages ago. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You were young. I was there? No. no. Oh. Dad had something there. Oh, I was like, I didn't, I didn't know I left the country. <laughs> it was probably one of the few times you stayed with Graham. Oh. You yeah. And, you and Jack would have stayed, so. Oh. I don't, I don't remember how old I was or how old you guys were. Probably a little, because I don't even remember that. Yeah. Um, Debbie says, found your channel the other night. And did your six snowmen project. Oh, the like, is that a watercolor class I think you did a year or two oh, ago? Oh, probably the one up there. I'm glad you realized which one she meant. I knew. Where, um, I, where I draw the snowmen and then can color them in with watercolor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, hang on. I'm going to finish reading this. Um, I am not a, a talented artist, but I am so pleased with how they turned out. Thank Good. you. Good. You're welcome. I think it's been a while since I painted. I think that was last year, so it's hard, harder for me to remember. Mm -hmm. I think one of the themes was, you know, shapes. You know, triangle nose or triangle with a rounded end. That kind of conversation, I think, is how it went. I'm sure Debbie remembers she just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that was helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jen said, Jennifer said I read it right. So I read it right. Yeah, the okay. primed canvases. Yeah, you used primed. I do. I am. Um, I like the Michaels Level Three canvases quite a bit because they're thick, uh, kiln-dried wood frames, so they shouldn't warp. Um, I don't know if they're primed all that great sometimes, but they don't bother me. Mm -hmm. What else about them do I like? I think they're acid-free archival. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I read the label. I'm trying to look over in my studio to look at one of the canvases, <laughs> but the thick. I like the thick ones because I spray them with water. And drying with a hair dryer to tighten them up like a drum. Mm -hmm. And if you sometimes you buy a cheap thin wood framed canvas, it'll actually pull in and warp the canvas and bow it, which is why I like the thick ones. Which might be too much information, but that's why I do that. Um, guess who made a very very late appearance? Who slipped right in under the radar? Ah, Chase Man. Thank you. Thank you. We talked about you because all of a sudden I realized you weren't here. He said late with a goat and then a sad emoji. Not, well, you're not. Ex it's not a requirement to come. <laughs> we do like seeing you though. Um, Gravy says, "Have a good night, all. Bye, Gravy. Bye. Thanks for coming. Happy Thanksgiving." Mm, Diane said, "We are like New York. Yeah, that's what I picture when yeah. I think of." Ontario. I thought it was much nicer than New York. Prettier. Well, like size-wise, like oh, city-wise, yeah. like tall buildings-wise. Yeah. Because I am. Um, there's a YouTuber I follow, and she lives in Ontario. And she, so she's shown clips of it, and it looks very New York. But yeah, I like we have like the perfect kind of in-between, you know? Yeah, we're just kind of... City, mean. but not city also. Yeah, we have several art galleries, really. Mm-hmm. You know, big... Entertain, I don't know what to call it, entertainment, venue, huge. You know, like the swim trials. and Yeah. We don't like... College yes. World Series stuff. And yeah. Downtown, there's a... That's kind of nice. Big a center where like... Like Lizzo will be coming, I think, soon. Oh, I think she's she? going to the CH, CHI Center or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we're big enough to get some big names. Yeah. But... The zoo is amazing. It's not... You know, you drive... You could be 30 minutes and you see some farm. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just because we're in the middle of the... We're literally in the middle of the United States. Mm-hmm. I think that helps us a little bit. Well, I'm sure it was way back when the Missouri River helped us with trade and traffic. And... I would assume so. I think Omaha used to be the capital, and I don't know why they moved it to Lincoln. Way too much Nebraska talk for some of these people. <laughs> that people are... It's going to be... They're going like, to be so bored. It's gonna, but you know what? It's going to come up and it's going to be a Jeopardy question. Be a Jeopardy question? And they're going to be like, gosh dang it, I actually know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saving me, honey. Yeah. 
It's gonna, it's gonna come in handy. There's gonna be some point in time in life where all of a sudden you need to know a bunch of random odd facts about. I have the Jeopardy theme song in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We technically have five minutes in our normal time slot. Yeah, I was just gonna stop then. Okay. Unless the, everybody just says goodbye and wants to get going. That's totally cool. This Dang, is... that gold dries fast, though. Because that's the one you put two layers on, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a little tacky in places, but it does dry. What's helping me, too, is winter. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. It wouldn't have done quite so well in, in the summer. Yeah, it's a little sticky, but it's not coming off when I lay my finger on it. Boy, I love it. You know, I just, I use a liner brush until they are super fuzzy. I don't know why. <laughs> I could afford, you guys help me. I'm getting some, I'm getting support now for the channel. I could afford another liner brush. Yeah. But boy, when I pull out a new one, I like it. It's so much easier to paint. <laughs> it's like, I'm so happy. Um, Jennifer says, 30 years ago, we built our own frames and stretched our canvases. <sighs> but I was young then and couldn't get off the floor <laughs> yeah yeah um i've never done that i know artists that do that but gosh i just can't get over how nice and tucked and mm -hmm. the I, I you think i worked for michael's i do not they do not sponsor my videos but those level threes are gallery wrapped and spline so they're tucked in there with a rubber gasket i'm like i love how neat they are mm -hmm. sometimes it takes um sometimes i'll get one and i've got a Tighten it up several times to get it to not be saggy. But usually they're pretty darn good. And sometimes I wonder if somebody just handled it a lot in the store. I think I might have misread. And I I was young then and could get it off the floor. Yeah, I understood. Okay. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm starting to, like, it, I don't know, okay, old people stuff. I think I'm getting arthritis in my thumb because when I hold that painting, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I only realized because Diane says, get the kids to help, LOL. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, I must have read that wrong then. <laughs> oh. Well, you notice I don't get up off the floor like I used to. Yeah, there's more groaning involved. Yeah, things, after things we watch stiffer. after we watch shows and we watch a few and you stand up to leave, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that old people noise, that, that commercial, you know, where you don't want to turn into your parents. Like, <laughs> yeah, is that, what is that? I think it's for insurance or something. Yeah, I think is it is it? for some insurance. But is it safe life? I don't know why you make the noise. Like, it, does it help you feel it better? It helps. It must help. <coughs> Just like me. why people, like, grunt when they work out. You know, like, people mm. that lift, like, like, people that, um. I'm lifting so much weight I have to groan. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, No, Adam. no, not that. No. Adam, thanks a lot, I'm Emily. <laughs> saying that the joints don't work as good anymore. Oh, you guys heard it. She, she threw me under. She's, like, saying I'm chubby. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know you're not. I just think that's funny. Yeah, but it's weird. Mm, Jennifer says, I have a beautiful five foot high painting with a warped frame. Mm. Oh, yeah. So the, the stretcher frame's warped. Mm -hmm. Not the like a exterior pretty frame. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, I had a, an 18 by 24 that was a thinner wood frame. Nice. I mean, I spent money on the canvas. But I took it to, uh, so one of the galleries I sell in is a framing studio. So I took it to them and said, hey, can you frame this? <laughs> so you can't tell. So you can't tell it's warped. Yeah. But I think I actually might have warp, warped it because I didn't know that I need to be careful how tight I get the canvases. Mm -hmm. I think I might have done it and didn't even realize I did it. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know for sure because I didn't notice it. For a long time. Mm, yeah. Jennifer says, the frame I built. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's hard. It would stink more because you made that with your own two hands. All the time. Oh, we're at an hour 30. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. I'm going to call it good, but if you have any more questions or anything else you want to share, it doesn't have to be a question. Or, or slip in some, yeah, last final comments. Yeah. Because I got to go to Target. <laughs> Boss says I have to go. <laughs> I gotta go to Target to get note cards, um, sauce, pizza crust, cheese, 
nail polish top coat and possibly litter for Anne. So now they kind of know what a target is if they don't. It's sort of an all-purpose <laughs> grocery store, drugstore. In case you don't have one where you live. I'm looking at the chat. So I can see, it's like I feel like I can see you. And Jennifer says, good night, y'all. Thanks for coming. Thank you, thank you. Super fun to hang out with you. We will not be here next Wednesday. No next Wednesday. We're off for Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're going to celebrate. Okay, guys. Super appreciate your support. Really fun to hang out with you. I'm so glad um, that we've had a chance to connect and chat. Great, big, happy art hugs. Oh, I already said chat. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.